Hello YouTube, this is Financial Ben from the thefinancialsurvivalist.com and I'm building my raised bed garden. So I decided to finally show you what I'm doing and <clears throat> kind of already started without you but that's okay, there's plenty of beds to be built still. But I'll show you right over here is the first bed and I have not um, put the uh, posts in yet. Well the posts are in, I haven't like filled in the post holes so those posts are just loose. Um, as you'll notice, kind of doing it differently than anything I've ever seen. As for the posts, I'm using two inch PVC pipe cut to two foot lengths, and I'm using two five and a half inch by six foot cedar fence boards for the boards on the side. Now, I specifically decided to do it this way for a good reason. Um, one, it's cheaper than using cedar four by fours. And two, I'm going to do uh, hoop houses, you know, and so I'm going to have to put pipes in there anyway to be able to put the um, C, the half inch PVC pipe to make the arch for the hoop house. So I realized if I'm going to be putting those pipes in there anyway, why don't I just try using them as posts? The PVC, which is, it's the same thing pretty much as is vinyl so I figure it's safe you, you use it for your drinking water all the time so not a big deal it's gonna be fine for the garden I'm sure um, and then uh, I'm basically just screwing put the board straight to it um, have to pre-drill the boards because they split really easily but um, it's, tr it's working out pretty nice so hopefully it'll keep on working out really nice and that and it'll be awesome anyway um the yard's still a mess uh my yard is always a mess or whatever wherever my projects are i always have a mess it's one of my chickens if you know what kind of breed this is let me know could be a rhode island red or a red sex link it uh, gives an egg about once a day so it's a really good layer and uh she loves foraging she eats worms all the time so good chicken anyway I got distracted so the outline is I'm gonna put a three foot walking path along the fence this is a the south side of my yard so uh, next to this fence is not gonna get any Sun ever so I didn't want to put a bed up against that fence three foot back I'm gonna put my first bed which is four and it's gonna be about 15 feet long and then on both sides and then I'm going to space each bed with three foot gap, uh, walking path, and four feet um, beds. Now on the side and along, as you can see, the fence, I'm going to have a two foot bed the entire way. And then I'm going to put another one over there along that fence. Um, and the in the middle, this bed is not going to be oriented the same way. I'm going to have a lengthwise bed here. Um, so this would be the first corner post and the, the side of the bed would go all the way up to just past where the uh, post hole digger is, where about where the chicken is. Anyway, um, and then it'd come in four feet and come back towards me. And the reason why I changed the orientation of the middle beds is because there's no way I could evenly put four foot, three foot, four foot, and have it line up with the end of that bed over there. So the I'm gonna put three over there that are oriented uh, width-wise <laughs> and then have these two in the middle and in the middle of these two I'm gonna have like a uh, picnic table sitting area to just sit and enjoy the garden you know drink some ice uh, lemonade in the summer you know stuff like that just enjoy the garden and rest in between uh, chores in the garden I guess anyway so that's the layout um, how to build these beds essentially I'm digging the the post holes first and then I'm uh, essentially screwing the fence boards to the um, the PVC pipe that's cut at length and then I put the gotta close this put the board sorry about the camera work because I'm doing like three things so then you put the bottom length in first, and then you put the top length in second, and then you screw it all together, and then make sure it's level with a level, hammer down uh, the pipe or the posts when it's too high, 
to kind of make a smooth edge and then make sure it's plumb up and down and then we'll pack it in. I, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to use concrete to hold the posts in or not. I kind of want to be able to pull them out if I ever decide to do that. So if I put in concrete, that would make it very difficult. So it should be fine. I mean, there's, it's not like it's going to be a really tall bat or anything. It's 11 inches. So anyway, this is raised bed garden part one and uh, check for part two where I actually show you building a raised bed garden.